Natural Frequency Movement. My name is Tasia, and I'm just gonna give a couple minutes for people to join my live here, and I'm gonna share it in a couple more places. So, stick with me. Be right with ya. Thanks for joining. I'm Tasia, and I'm just giving a couple minutes here. I'm gonna share my video in a couple more places and see if one or two more people join on the live. So give just a moment. up with an icebreaker for me because this is going to help my body and my nervous system drop into the space right now just by um, starting with some music and usually what I do with this type of music is I do something called light language channeling which um, means basically don't look for words because Light language is just kind of channeling the language of light beings, allowing it to come through me and getting my own ego and my own story out of the way. So, thank you for joining.
good. This is my harmonium and my Healy cord. It's getting caught in my harmonium. So it's a beautiful, beautiful instrument. And my connection with this instrument and my expression through song and voice is one of my most automatic ways to tap in to self-love and the purity of my essence and my being. So thank you for letting me open my video by sharing that with you. Um, this is a really interesting topic for me to come and present at this summit during this time. Love thyself. Awaken. I truly believe that the path to awakening is best walked by taking the journey to love thyself. And for me, that has been one of the biggest challenges in my life, truly. Um, I do have a tendency to be really hard on myself and uh, to be really sensitive um, to how I might be received or perceived. I, uh, I have a tendency, I really, really love to please. And I'm also an extremely unique being, so I find that I also have a tendency of being misunderstood um, very often. And I really, you know, I do take that personally. And so, my journey <clears throat> really has been about coming home to myself and finding a home within myself and building that home, sheltering myself, surrounding myself with love. And, you know, they say that you can't, you have to find love within before you can, you know, experience love outwardly and that is actually a little bit of a, a damaging concept because it you know for some people it could make it a really hard long journey to self love because then we're thinking to ourselves oh god like I'll never be able to have love in my life because I don't love myself and the truth is that just inherently all humans deserve love whether it is coming from ourselves or from our community or from our connection with source. It's all love and it's all inherently our, what we deserve. <laughs> so, I wanted to talk also a little bit about what I do during my day to try to bring a self-love into my life as a practice, an intentional practice, because it is such an important thing for all of us, and, and for me, uh, it's, it's so deeply needed, um, and I'm also going to be talking about mental balance in relationship to self-love, and the way that these come together for me is that um, I have you know, been on the verge of various different mental health diagnoses. Uh, you know, like I had a therapist one time tell me that I was on, right on the edge of a bipolar diagnosis. But his suggestion to me was that if I built routine into my life, that I could move away from that and not fall into that type of bipolar situation that could be permanent and if I brought routine into my life then I could actually heal myself and become a whole functioning happy person and so it is extremely important I feel for me personally and so what I was going to share is <laughs> I'm going to flip my camera here and what I have ready to show you is this is my um I call this my TLC those are my initials tender loving care ritual and activity tracking log and this is a really cool thing that my friend designed 
that is actually based on a rewarding system. And so if I put a one or a two or a zero, depending on how many times I do each of these throughout the day, my colors at the top will become more and more green. Um, this is the, the brightest, shiniest green that they could be. And so, um, you know, no, no hard feelings if I don't get a check mark or a number on all of these things throughout my day. But it is a cool rewarding system to show my colors becoming more bright and vibrant as with each and every act of self-care that I do throughout my day. And I've really structured my day and prioritized my self-love through this. And so I'm going to share with you first thing in the morning, I have on here to do something that's called a dragon roll. Uh, a dragon dance is something that we've been doing, or that we were doing <laughs> uh, locally in this community. A dragon dance, is, it basically just means full total embodiment and, and becoming your most complete dragon free self. And so to wake up very first thing in the morning, the first thing I do is this dragon roll, which basically means to keep before I go into thought, before I go into story, before I go into like, you know, kind of the whole concept of who I am and what do I have to do today and what are the things I was, you know, thinking about yesterday, I just bring my body into movement. Right is the moment my eyes open, I stretch and roll and just have real experience of embodiment and just really slowly enter my awareness into my day and you know once my brain comes out of that dragon space and becomes turned on um, I have on here to jump straight into gratitude and you can do gratitude as a journaling exercise just kind of thought dump onto a piece of paper everything in your life that you're grat grateful for and um, the act of writing it on paper actually like makes it more real um, so from there, I drink a big glass of water. <laughs> and this is one, uh, there's a couple things on here that I've taken from my, um, I've done a few Tony Robbins immersions. And what Tony Robbins does first thing in the morning is take, drink a big glass of water and then he jumps, gets onto his rebounder for like half an hour. I'm not there yet with the half an hour part, but I drink a big glass of water and get onto my rebounder and I put on music. Um, Music is really something that helps me get into state. If I'm just kind of like having trouble self-regulating or getting myself into a positive mindset, I put on music. And that is a, really a great way for me to launch my heart and my attitude into the best place, the most motivated and activated place. So I put on music and I do incantations. And incantations, you know, reminders like, you know, I love myself. I deserve love. I deserve happiness. I'm doing the best I can with my life. My, I have, I'm creating this wonderful, abundant life that is rich with love and community and connection and empowerment. I'm an empowered, embodied being, an abundant, creative, successful being, like incantations and music while I'm on my rebounder. And then from there, some of this stuff is, you know, it's going to be um, kind of personal. And, you know, there's hygienic, there's body care, and it's all a part of loving yourself. So from there, I do uh, a tongue scraping. And a tongue scraping, um, before you do anything else with your mouth for the day, you've actually built up a bunch of toxins on your tongue overnight. So scraping all of that off and washing the eyes. Um, you just take some rose water and... and Dip your eyes in a little bit of sacred rose water. Clean everything out. And then um, from there I have lemon water. And that's a really great way to activate the, um, get the digestive system activated. And, and then from there I have this um, amazing infrared sauna blanket at home. I just got it. And so this is kind of a new one on my um, routine. 
but I get into my sauna blanket for half an hour and I do some breath work. And I can't, there's a few different techniques of breath work that I enjoy. And after I do a little bit of breath work, I do my presence practice. And so the presence practice is one of my favorites. Uh, it, it is really close to home with my personal values and beliefs. And basically it's just a practice of allowing. Allowing whatever is there. And that is something that I also have a pretty hard time with. And I, you know, it's possible that most humans do kind of fight, fighting what's there, fighting disappointments, fighting, you know, even judgment or shame, fighting within yourself, sadness or any, any emotion that you might associate is not a positive one. And so the presence practice is just allowing, allowing what's there and bringing presence into the parts of the body where you feel those emotions, bringing presence, bringing light, and using the breath to breathe love into those places in the body. So that's a practice that I do rather than a typical meditation, I do my presence practice. And that, I believe, is a really meaningful practice to me. And then I get out of my sauna blanket, I make some celery juice, which is another, uh, it's a gut health, um, digestive tract healing practice of making some celery juice. And then I take a hot cold shower. And just like with the rebounder, the hot and the cold back and forth, it activates um, the lymphatic system. And so um, that's another thing I stole from Tony Robbins. And then I get my Healy on me. And um, my Healy is on me now. I have something I'm going to talk about in a bit. I have uh, protocols that I'm doing with my Healy. I'm doing three or four programs a day with my Healy in um, four or five week bundles of programs for um, specific applications of the frequencies. Um, so an example looks like this morning the program I ran, Friday, the program I ran was being, and that is a great, great program for just like bringing yourself into that presence that I was talking about, that state of being. Um, so this is, these are my protocols that I'm talking about. It, Monday through Sunday, two or three programs a day, all listed out for me for specific things. But the one that I'm working on right now is just kind of back to basics. I'm back to basics right now. The first five weeks of Healy um, is gold and deep cycle programs. So that's the one I'm working on now, but I'll talk more about that later. I put the Healy on me. I take my supplements, do my self-love um, through bringing vitality and health into my body with supplements, brush my teeth. Teeth are a huge thing. My life has been <laughs> kind of a train wreck because I had so much trouble with my teeth and teeth are connected to everything your meridians your blood system your brain um, teeth like if you're having mystery problems I, I do say like what's up with your teeth to a lot of people who talk about mystery problems make myself a smoothie and then I come down into my office and this is all in my morning so far I, I like to get to the office before the afternoon flip on my essential oil diffuser and get uh, some aromatic healing into the air and just kind of set the vibe and then I go into my daily method of operations um, and so for me daily method of operations is a tool that we have learned in the Healy community and Healy is my number one thing that I'm doing for 
my career, my job is Healy. So there's five things in the daily method of operation and yeah, I prioritize that. I'm gonna move around a little bit because I brought up my office and I'm in my office right now and I would just love to show you, this is my Healy office. Yes, my Healy office. I have this specifically for self-care and to share Healy with my community. And I have a pretty similar setup in my office as I do in my house. And you can see that I really have set myself up to love myself, to really, really care for myself. You know, I have prioritized healing, self-care. This is my sacred altar. I always have a devotional space in any space that I call my own. And my sacred music. And so, yeah. Thank you for letting me share with you all of these different ways that I am doing, that I am loving myself. So, in the afternoon, first thing I have, like first thing in the morning, is water. And I wanted to bring up how important water is and how the use of the Healy really actually can ignite a self-care practice for people. I posted this in the GFM group yesterday, that Healy self-care. These are some practices that are supportive. Um, when you use the Healy, you definitely want to make sure that you're grounding yourself for 15 to 20 minutes a day, which means going and sitting outside, putting your feet on the earth. Um, there's a number of different ways to do grounding practices. Hydrate your body by drinking one half of your body weight in ounces of purified water. And it's really, really important to actually drink a full glass of water before you start your Healy session. Stretching, yoga, or flow movements, spending time with nature, and the sun, falling in love with life. Integrating these practices is an amazing way to integrate the Healy into your life. So going back to my self-care, Basically, I have on here, I have more practices um, for healing the body. I have um, decompression of the spine. <laughs> That's a big one because we really can hold on to so much toxicity as well as emotional trauma and feelings of limitation in the spine. And so I do decompression of the spine exercises. I, uh, I work with a functional fitness trainer, and so I practice with him in the afternoon. I take my time to sit outside. I eat a fresh salad, fresh greens. I, I'm a sucker for those fresh greens. And really, I'm on a whole foods only, you know, vegan whole foods, as pure as possible is what I put into my body. Um, I do cardio sports, if, if I can handle it. <laughs> if I'm not in so much pain that day, if I am, I'll just throw a pain program on. Um, but I do, I have the Healy again in my afternoon practice. Um, so in the afternoon, I might do one of my um, custom therapy programs that I have on here. And I was going to show a picture of this because the therapist programs are a custom thing that don't come stock with any of the, the Healy bundles. Um, but I have made that investment. And so uh, I have therapist programs including anti-inflammation, immune system, liver, pain-free, um, joints, bones, 
lymph system, oxygenation, <laughs> arthritis, stress-free emotion. I mean, that's kind of what this whole presentation is about, mental balance, stress-free emotion. It's probably um, kind of my go-to if I'm just like, oh, I, I can't figure out what is happening in my head in my day, stress-free emotion is the program I run, teeth and tonsils. Um, so those are my therapy programs. Getting back into it, um, I go back into um, a little bit of a workflow. I uh, am supportive on the leadership team for our Healy tribe. And so in the afternoon, I have in here that I'm gonna be dedicating some time to posting content for my uh, amazing global frequency movement and collective communities. Um, and so I, yeah, I actually, I get so much fulfillment and it feels like self-love to me when I'm in service to the community in that way. I'm in my creative flow. I'm, <laughs> I'm in my educational flow actually, because I, I find things that, you know, spark like some, a connection for me because the, the whole, um, web of Heliism, there is, you know, some complexity. There's a lot of layers to it and really it kind of just depends on how deeply you want to go with it. And I truly want to go all the way with it. So the fact that I get to be on this leadership team and share education and inspiration and little tidbits with my community, it, it actually does feel like self-love to me. And it gives me a lot of self pride and fulfillment. Um, I, like I said, I love to please and I love to be in service. Um, so that kind of gets all my good buttons doing that. And then I do a music practice. Um, I do rhythm training, brain training, and whatever instrument I'm focusing on. Um, I am trying to learn some new instruments. I'm trying to become more masterful in the instruments I've already learned. And yeah, the, the brain training the rhythm training, like just kind of bringing, turning more lights on for myself. Um, you know, as somebody that has been dealing with chronic Lyme for most of my life, as long as I can remember, there has been some issue. Um, there's a lot of, you know, brain fog. And so um, practicing music and, and doing like, you know, rhythm exercises and kind of, you know, like puzzles that are meant to ignite different parts of the brain. Um, it's, it's really, really necessary. And there's also some play programs that can support with, with that. There's programs um, for concentration, learning programs, memory programs, like I really need that really, really do. Um, yeah, so anyway, that kind of wraps up my afternoon and then my evening back on it with the water, like a big, huge glass of water. Make sure I'm doing that many times a day, but that kind of like is the opening to like each part of my day is a big glass of water. Um, I get on my team calls if there is one for the day, which a lot of days of week there is a team call. And so I've kind of like restructured my life to have those team calls be a priority. Um, and I do some cleaning, like try to get a little bit of cleaning in every single day because uh, like I said, I, I do have a tendency to be hard on myself and I get really in this fight with myself. Um, and Juliana talked about it a little bit earlier in her presentation about like, oh, the, you know, so what if the dishes aren't done? Like as long as you're still doing your self care. And so I fight with myself about that, about like, oh, my house, it feels like disorganized. And that makes me think that I must be really chaotic on the inside. And I must be, you know, like a fake or unworthy person because uh, this, is the, this is the expression that's coming out in my life. And so I have cleaning on my daily rituals as a ritual, as a self-love practice, but also Juliana's totally right because you know you need to also like practice being easy on yourself and, and acknowledging that 
are still valuable and a worthy of love person. <laughs> even if you don't have it all together, even if I'm not checking all these boxes on my um, daily rituals and routines, I am doing my best. And all of this is basically just to serve myself and to love myself and to prioritize myself. Um, so much of what's on here, you know, like, doing doing things like for work and income like is on here as an act of self-love but there's so much on here i'm prioritizing self-care self-care um after my cleaning ritual i have on here yoga um dancing um opening of the shoulders and the hips and the spine again as i was saying earlier there's so much can get locked up in the spine and in the joints you know, dealing with Lyme, I have major, major issues there um, with pain and limited movement in the joints. And so I prioritize trying to create opening in my body, opening in my heart. <laughs> um, and I actually have one here, um, uh, having a central practice because there is um, so much shame that can come up around our own sensuality and recognizing ourselves as like a holistic being, as a sexual being. Um, and so I have on my daily self-care rituals a practice of, of just being in sensuality and having that be okay. Um, being part of myself as an embodied, a whole spiritual, lovely being, um, rather than this weird disconnected part of myself that, you know, I'm ashamed of, or <laughs> thank you for that love. <laughs> um, and then I actually have on here also some mirror work, and some, it says mirror work self-love is part of my daily ritual and routine. Um, so actually like eye gazing with myself in the mirror and falling in love with myself, <laughs> taking in the beauty and the essence of my being and connecting with my spirit and, and showering my vessel with adoration and appreciation. I try to... I have that on here as an intention to do every day. So um, it can make such a difference. And then kind of after all of this, like really kind of intense work, I shake it out. I have on here shaking. So I just <laughs> shake it all out <laughs> and sage the room. Um, and then I kind of get into a little bit of a nighttime routine. I have a, um, a fresh vegetable dinner. I take my vitamins and tinctures again, bringing like you know, all, all of the vitality and supplementation that I need for my body. <sighs> um, another um, tooth care routine. Uh, I use a self massager. I use um, a dry brush. Kind of again is another lymph lymphatic activating practice using a, a dry brush on the body. Uh, I do a belly rub. Uh, Rubbing the belly around in circles to uh, going towards the left is is a way to kind of move everything through the digestive system. To the left is the direction that it goes, and um, you know, gut health, digestive health is is a big one for me too. So I really need that support. Um, do a neti pot. I take a bath. If I feel like it, I, uh, I use a jade roller on my body, on my skin, showing love to my skin. Have another glass of water. Run my evening healing program. Tonight, um, week four, Friday, my healing program is going to be balance in the gold program. Ah, oh, that sounds delightful, and honestly, I do find the gold programs to be the most nourishing. Like, there's there's so much fancy stuff that can come with Healy, but the the fundamental stuff that comes in the primary packages, the gold programs, ugh, are really just 
like the body so easily accepts and welcomes the gold programs so balance is going to be a great one for me tonight <laughs> I'm, I'm not used to speaking for this long to a bunch of global beauties so um it'll be nice to get into some balance tonight i do my evening breeding um again just kind of like feeding feeding the brain loving the brain feeding my creativity feeding my imagination educating myself do some reading drink some tea some, some lucid dreaming tea because i i love 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 having this whole like celestial world in dream time that's oh it's one of my favorite things in the world love it take my nighttime supplements hydrate my lips my lips get really chapped and I do, as I'm falling asleep, my visual, visual, visualization practices um, because I really truly believe that we are conscious creators. And I, one of my 2021 things I wanted to get really serious about was the act of conscious creation and um, visualizing the life that I desire and feeling what it feels like to be the whole and complete embodied beautiful person that I want to be, that I have a clear picture in my mind of this, this person, like my highest essence and potential. And so having a visualization practice as I'm falling asleep. And also loving the person that I am today. You know, even if it is not that exact person who I think that I could be someday, or that I think that I came here to be, like, every, every little step, every single day, it is part of the journey of what it takes to create that person, and I'm already always that person, but, you know, there's things that I have to go through in my life. Um... So, that was a whole long thing about my daily rituals, and um, because I'm talking so much about structure, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I have structured my um, use of the Healy device in a way that has been extremely supportive to me, and it made it something that is not this fleeting thing. Because, you know, sometimes we get excited about something and like, oh yeah, like that might be supportive or I could really get into that. And then, you know, it doesn't always click. And so for me, I have gotten really into this ebook that my friend Lisa Golda wrote, The 37 Most Important Healy Application Plans. Um, I spoke a little bit earlier about the five weeks to success, and this is a similar thing. Um, so, but what she has on here is 37 four-week protocols um, for different applications, for different uses of the Healy, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the ones that I've done, and I'll just read you the table of contents here. Um, so... She has a four-week protocol for things including abdominal pain, um, ADHD, which is one of the ones that I did, allergies, anxiety, panic, um, arthritis, asthma, back pain, colds and immune system, desire to have children, um, detoxification, the ears, the emotions and psyche, energetic protection from electro um, influences, um, energy, the eyes, the hair, beautiful healthy hair, <laughs> headaches, high blood pressure, hormones and thyroid, incontinence, inflammatory diseases, intestine and digestion, joints and chronic pain, I think I've done that one. Losing weight, I think I've done that one. 
um, memory, concentration, musculoskeletal system, parasites and fungi, um, performance improvement in sports, re-aging, restful sleep, skin, strengthening for sensitive people, strengthening the liver, stress, toothaches, I've done that one a couple times, um, vitality in men's issues and women's issues, menopause, menses. Um, and so because I did the one for ADHD, I'll just give you a couple examples of the types of programs that are in these four week protocols. And um, this one is pretty significant for me as far as mental balance because I, <laughs> that was another thing that a therapist um, gave me a diagnosis of ADD and um, once I got on to the Adderall medication, my whole life all of a sudden just kind of worked. Um, I had confidence, I had energy, like I was able to focus and get things done, but it was incongruent with my values and who I am and what I believe. Um, you know, I, I of course like understand and respect that, you know, for mental health, it is a big deal to like work with a doctor and do the best that you can to treat what you have going on. Um, but for me, I, I actually, you know, I have, um, Adderall is an amphetamine and I have, um, addiction in my family and, and I've dabbled with things like that in the past that was really scary for me. And I do have an addictive personality and that was, I was not willing to become addicted to something that was, you know, even a prescription prescribed amphetamine and I, I was just, I was not, I wanted to, I wanted to heal myself and, and my doctor knows that about me, that I, that I've always been that way, like wanting to take the natural alternative route. So definitely don't get off medications if, <laughs> without talking to your doctor, but I did get off my medication using this four week um, protocol. Um, for ADHD and um, I probably could stand to do it again but I, I feel really good and so some of the programs um, in the mental balance category um, that are on here are inner strength inner strength in the mental balance category is says energetic promotion of self-confidence when you feel uncertain or insecure love that one need that one absolutely yes Another mental balance. Um, oh, there's a protection program in here. Protection of, of your of your mental sphere, and that's in here. Mental balance, inner unity, and that's actually the one that I ran before giving this talk. It looks like it's over now, but I ran inner unity because uh, I, like I mentioned earlier, the the concept of of coherence within myself within you know, my inner world and my outer world and what I'm feeling and what I'm offering and expressing. Um, coherence has been a, a theme for me this week. So I ran the Inner Unity program before starting this talk. Um, so I'm talking right now about some of the mental balance programs that were in my ADHD protocol, uh, my four week protocol. So another one out of the mental balance category was well-being of the soul. Well-being of the soul is energetic balancing to support you while resisting habitual behaviors. I mean, that's exactly what I was just saying that I, I you know, was not willing to become addicted to a medication and so well, well-being of the soul in the mental balance category, like it's all just together, emotional well-being, um, energetic balancing when you feel emotionally blocked. I mean, that's, that's the whole purpose of me, of me doing this huge long spreadsheet of self care daily rituals is for me to, to break free from my emotional blocks. Um, so let's see what else was in here. Mental balance, acute, uh, supports positive thinking. Really need that really, you know, could use all the support with depression <laughs> that I can get. So uh, mental balance acute is supports positive thinking. 
mental balance and during unity again feel good systemic energetic activation of confidence when you feel down i mean who can go wrong supportive confidence when you feel down like that's one that you could use every every time you feel down or every morning if you have a hard time waking up in a positive state um like i i do honestly and that's that's why i do these rituals and daily practices of self-care i do have a hard time waking up in a positive state um uh, let's see and contentment a systemic or acute so contentment systemic is energetic balancing of the inner sense of self to help avoid addictive and compensatory behaviors compensating um huge one you know like that's kind of what addictive behavior is is compensating for um, feelings of lack feelings of unworthiness um feelings of not belonging not feeling loved you turn to your addictions to compensate for those types of things truly and then mental balance acute supports your sense of inner balance during recovery from nicotine dependence man if i had had healy <laughs> during the 20 times that i tried to quit smoking nicotine like honestly i probably wouldn't have had to do it 20 times um, but thank goodness once i did it i did it i'm kind of that type of person um when it's time it's time and i can let stuff go but i do have a tendency to really really hold on to things <laughs> i think longer than most people do um so these are all incredibly supportive programs for me and maybe you know there's people out there that can relate to this the things i'm talking about and would find support on these programs too but the thing that's cool about this um four-week protocol is there's so much more to it like you know i'm doing this one for adhd but there's things in here that you wouldn't even think of that that have to do with it so she has a bioenergetic balance for the hormones um she has a lot of learning stuff she has activation in the job and sleep category uh, she has nerve meridians throat chakras um she has uh, one from the pain program, which there is, I noticed in the pain program, it's, uh, one that, you know, is kind of for mental, emotional pain, I think. Uh, she has a deep cycle clean also, some detoxification is all part of this. Um, a bioenergetic for the intestines, you know, so, so gut health, like it does have to do with your mental health. Um, kidneys in the meridian systems um deep, deep cycle going to the root so you know um making your way out of a situation like adhd like really doing those grounding practices and, and coming home to yourself um she has subtle protection programs she has more learning programs more chakras uh third eye chakra and so i would see that as um as you know decalcifying the pineal gland for one thing but also like making your connection to the space of unity and and who you truly are um <clears throat> breath of life definitely need to be oxygenating the body and the blood for any type of recovery programs that you're wanting to do um she has you know sleep support bed rest bed rest is one that is i kind of call it out the hangover program uh, it's, you know, when you've completely like exhausted yourself and, and you have nothing left, bed rest is the program. Um, and deep relaxation in the fitness program, you know, these are all just examples. Um, so these are really amazing, comprehensive ways to structure your use with Healy. Um, so that it's not just kind of like this aimless thing, you know, like as a person who really, really deeply needs routine in my life, like same thing. I, I, I need direction. I need, I need guidance and I need accountability for myself. So I'm, <laughs> I'm using the Healy three to four times a day. I, you know, I have three times a day pro 
with these protocols and I can do a fourth time a day if I'm in pain. I'll do a local um, pain program if I need it sometimes. Um, yeah, so finding that stability with my use of the Healy and you know, and even the way that you care for your, for your Healy device is also like, it feels to me like a way of caring for myself, a way of loving myself. I have my Healy kit here. I have, you know, I'll show you the way that I care for my Healy. If I'm done with my program right now, I take my Healy off, I zip it in this little bag. I take my electrodes off and I stick them to this little plate. And I wrap the cords around this bag to preserve my cords so that they stay in good condition. I don't pull them out of the Healy every time I use it. Um, I stick it in here and in this bag I also have like all my spare um, electrode stickies, all my bracelets and you know, I have my little spray bottle to, to spray the area with water before using. And I stick it all together zip it closed and I feel like an organized, sane person. And I've, I've cared for this device that has brought so much support into my life. And, and I know that, you know, it's been treated well and it's, you know, it's being taken seriously. Um, so, you know, and that's just one more act of self care. It's like a, you know, having, brushing my hair in the morning, like putting on a cute outfit that like matches you know, like I value that stuff and I, and I feel better in, in my body and in my life and in my heart when I do the small things like that. So I don't think there was really anything else that I had put together for myself here to talk about. I wasn't planning to close with more music, but I keep eyeballing my harmonium over there and I I would just like to actually do that. Oh, my best friend made the most sweet comment to me. I love you too. <laughs> okay, so closing with some music and gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being with me, for witnessing me, for loving me and for loving you on this journey. <laughs>
to close with Namaste is basically to say that that, that expression, that om, that light, that is all of us, I, as that light, acknowledge and I love you as that same light. I honor you and I love you as I honor and love myself because we are all that light. So, I must stay. <laughs>